friends, I wanted to do a follow-up video to where I bought my uh, my Groat headless guitar, and, and I posted the video yesterday. This is February the eighth of twenty twenty-two. As I'm as I'm making this video, and I wanted to talk just a little bit uh, uh, about the bridge because last night I I did spent some time trying to get my intonation just right on it. And um, I went looking for the bridge, and this is on Amazon the exact bridge, the exact bridge that is on the here's the here's the head uh, piece top here that goes on the top of the neck, and here is the exact bridge. It's licensed by KD Patent, and and I wanted to say just a little bit about how uh, you know it was it problematic. I won't say it's problematic. I'd say it was it was a bit of a challenge. I just want to just warn everybody. It's not a, not even a warning because I still think this bridge is great. So I don't want to lie. It's Amazon's choice for a fixed six string. And, and so you got a four star rating. What you've got, I will jump down to the ratings real quick before I tell you what I'm going to, what I want to tell you about this bridge. This guy right here says Amazon customer so far so good. This guy has written a very fair assessment about this bridge. And if you read more and read everything that he says about it, he is absolutely right. It's, it's, it's a good bridge. I like it. There's the one thing he does say about it that I totally agree with. He says he says unless he could, unless he could figure out differently, you have to push the uh, bridge uh, saddles back with your fingers. You see here, some people are giving it like ones. No, th this guy's it's not absolute garbage. It is a very nice little bridge for what it is. Everybody here that's got giving it a one star, they've got some. They've got. I wish it had a locking nut. Well, you know, my goodness, why does it need a locking nut? It's dang headless guitar. You know, uh, you know, this guy giving it five stars. Probably he's overdoing it. <laughs> this guy right here, he's pretty much spot on. But I want to go back up to the top up here, and we're gonna open up this picture for a second. So, so, so this is the deal. To, to set your intonation, this is yet now. Here again, I've not changed strings yet, so I don't know how to change strings yet on this. I'm not going to change them for a little while, but I am going to save every image on this because the reason I'm showing this rather than my guitar is this is f photographed in such a way that it's pretty good look at these things. Um, there are little screws. This little screw right here. I'm going to segue over this one right here. Here's one here. Here's one here. Here's one. There's there's believe me, there's a little screw beside each one of these saddles. So your string is going to go across that brass part there. It's going to latch in somehow back here when you change strings. I've not done that, that part yet. But your string is going to go across this, and de depending on how your intonation set, this part, this black part here, which holds this, has to go back or, back or forward, back or forward. And uh, these little screws back here on the top, these change the angle, the way that your string is slanted or something, the best I can understand. The way you set your intonation is you unloosen this little screw right here that I got my magnifying glass over the top of, or this one right here for for this for this saddle, and you actually take your finger and you push this back. <laughs> and the way you do that, of course, is you're going to have to loosen your string. You take up your you, you loosen your string up. I was pulling the string up off of this little brass part and kind of letting it hang over this while I pushed this back. That's how it worked for me. And so, like, like my E string was really out when I was pressing down on the 24th fret, I was getting almost an F. So that had to go backward. I had to push that thing back naturally, right? So I loosened that little nut, a little, little Allen wrench thing. I pushed this back. It took me two or three tries to figure out exactly where it needed to be to get where I get an E on the 24th fret and on the 12th fret for my low E string. Uh, this one was out a little bit. Several of these were out a little bit when it when it came from the factory. Just just know the way you do it is you just little screw and loosen it up. You're gonna have to trial and error push it. Now I'm gonna go back over here to the, they got they've got a little thing here a picture and uh, and and I don't understand what they're saying here. But but this 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 describes what these tiny screws here do right. It says the upper screw is used to fix the copper shaft after the angle is adjusted to fix the copper shaft. Okay, so maybe there is a maybe there is a little shaft inside there that pushes just the ball. I'm looking here to see is the ball in different locations on each one of these and I'm not seeing it. The, the, the thing I did was I, I did not loosen when they said the upper. Here's what I ended up doing. 
you see where is it? Can you actually even see it on this? This is this is odd. This doesn't even look like the same bridge from this angle. So I don't know. I don't even know if they're showing me the right picture. That doesn't look to be in the. Maybe it is. Maybe that is in the same location. I think on the other bridge, though, that was the full screws over here. So I don't even know if they're showing us the right picture here. This one is indeed the right picture. So see that bridge right there on this image does not match. And the way I can tell that is on on this one. Oh, right here they are. And it shows the little Allen wrench things right here, not to the side of it. On this one, that's that's showing the bottom, that's showing the bottom. On this one, which is actually like it really is licensed by KD, it's showing the little screw out here to the side. This is what comes on the, the Grote headless guitar. You loosen that, you are able to loosen, first you loosen the string, you lo then you're able to reach in over your Allen wrench and loosen that, then you push this back, then you lock this back down, then you tune your string. It doesn't take long to do that. Tuning, uh, loosen up your string with this is about three turns with your little crank thing in here. Here's your little crank. This is the thing that it recesses back into this little hole right here. This magnetically sticks back in here so you got it where it's handy, quick access. You pull this end right here, that's the hex end, it goes into this hole. And then you're able to turn this three or four times and your string totally loosens up. You can just kind of pull it over to the side. You can reach that little thing, unlock it push that back with your finger. It, it, it's sort of a trial and error. You know, it's, it's kind of like guess. That, that, that's the only downside I see to this bridge. Otherwise, I think this bridge is brilliant. I love that it's brass. Uh, it's it, There's no slippage. Uh, you know, once you've got your intonation set, so I, I guess what I'm trying to say is you be prepared to spend 30, 45 minutes getting your intonation set just right. Trial and error, getting it set till you get it just the way it needs to be. Then you've got these little things locked down, and there's, there should be no problem with, with it going forward. You know, I don't know if you have to make micro adjustments at some point. I am right now super happy with the way mine is playing, and, I'm, and my intonation is good. I'm getting ready to record some some stuff with it, and I'm thinking it's going to be just great. So this is it's a sixty nine dollar. It's interesting. It's a seventy dollar bridge on a one hundred and seventy dollar guitar. So the rest of that entire guitar. Is manufactured or sold for a hundred bucks, but you're gonna hear JD Moon is apparently the company that makes this. So you might go here to to Amazon and look for this and and uh, learn more about the bridge if you're serious about buying that Groat headless guitar. I, and I very much love my little Groat. It's pretty killer. It's pretty sweet. And so they're 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 answering questions stuff. Whoever this one guy is, he's unnamed. He's a verified purchaser. This guy. Is telling the truth. He's one hundred percent. Some of these other folks, I don't know. I disagree. You know. Okay. Wow. Well, fantastic. You know. It, uh, here again, you're not. It, these are people that are doing builds, and maybe maybe this guy really has a serious beef. I don't know. But I, I think it's pretty ingenious little design for that bridge, and I, I agree with these people that are. I'd say it's a four four star, four and a half star. I wish there were a more elegant way to set the intonation, but it's just uh, it, it's what it is. And it works. You'll get a good intonation. Just be patient with it. Do what I said, and you should be great. Peace to all who watch. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. <laughs> Wanted to add that bit of clarification before people go out there and buy these things that are fussing at me because I lied to them for some reason. No, I didn't lie to them. It's it's really pretty cool bridge, and I, I dig it. It will work. It will get the job done. Thanks, folks.